Pope Francis promised a group of nuns he'd look into the role of women within the Catholic Church, specifically their capacity to serve as deacons. Fast forward a few months later, and he's making good on his word. The Vatican announcing a new commission of seven men and six women charged with studying the historical role of female deacons. The very fact that the discussion is being held in and of itself is world changing. Hofstra University professor Phyllis Zagano is one of just two Americans tapped to be on the commission, which is made up of priests, nuns, and academics. It demonstrates that uh, the Holy Father may indeed be looking for a way to include women in uh, what he said, what he called for, a more incisive presence of women in the church. The diaconate role has been open only to men for at least the last 800 years. Deacons rank just below priests in the hierarchy of the church, but can perform many of the same functions, like officiating at weddings and baptisms. A major step uh, towards explaining to, to the church and to the world at large that uh, that the church is serious about its teaching about women, that we all, are, all people are made in the image and likeness of God. So we have a commission. And what will this commission do? Most likely nothing in my lifetime. Ordained Catholic women priests like Susan Schessler, who have pushed to raise the stature of females in the church, are skeptical, especially as the commission's role and requirement for making recommendations are, at this point, vague. Personally, I believe that it's to placate the nuns who asked for the commission and to put them in abeyance, give them a commission, and then not have to address any deeper issue. The creation of this commission isn't new. In the past, there have been three groups appointed to study the historical role of female deacons. Those groups took several years and, in the end, made little to no recommendations to the church. There is no scriptural reason for women not being ordained. And to look at the scripture itself, Paul's letters to Romans, to see that there were women. To me, that's it. It says it right there. It's right in front of your face. So what more do you need? Many hopefuls are left with more questions than answers. The Vatican has yet to set a timeline for the commission to meet or clarify perhaps the biggest missing piece if the group will study the history or the future of female Catholics. In Highbridge, Umbriana Venosi, NJTV News.